What is going on, my lusty steeds of stallions? <laughs> uh, Real Thought Shima here, back with another Java video. Uh, and today we are going to be focusing on the game loop. Um, yeah, the game loop, the heart of your game. This is where it all goes down. If you don't have a solid game loop, um, your game could be good still, uh, but you don't know how it's going to run on different computers. So with a solid game loop, uh, you know your game is going to turn out a lot better. Uh, so yeah. Basically, we this this run method here is our um, our game loop here. And while running, obviously this this method gets accessed by the thread that we started up here in our start method. Uh, and while running, this is your game loop right inside here. And this is where it's going to handle a game loop. Uh, essentially, handles uh, all the updates for your game. So if you had a box that you know like went to the right of the screen, like you know kind of moved to the right. That would probably be accessed in your game loop. Uh, so rendering the, your your images and all that stuff, um, game loop. Uh, so yeah, how a game loop works is it's just it it's just a huge loop. It goes through the code. Um, so if we had code in here like this, it would go through it, and then once it got done going through it, it would go through it again. Once it got done going through it, it would go through it again and so on until you exit uh, the game that is a game loop now constructing your game loop uh, good it is very important uh, so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today so what I want to do here is we're going to have the game loop to uh, update your game a certain amount of time because here let's say you just had this while running here uh, you'd actually be getting probably around 7 million FPS or something like that uh, with just a blank window no pixels generating or anything Yeah, around 7 million uh, at least on this computer and um, you really don't want 7 million FPS uh, uh, with pixels and drawing stuff you know it, it could go down to I don't know like three or four thousand but if you had let's say um, in our player you had the X to uh, plus equal one to to its X position so it would be moving at one, it would be moving seven million uh, pixels to the right every time it ran through here, which is not too good because, uh, yeah, you'd have to make it be like x plus equals zero point, like something like that to uh, actually, you know, notice it move. And uh, we don't want that, so yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, so we can go ahead and start. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a long. And we're going to use the system, or actually, we can name it first. I'm going to name it last time. And it's going to equal system.nanotime. Now, there's system.current time milliseconds, but this is nano time, nanoseconds, um, which is very, very small number. Um, I'm also going to create a double, and I'm going to call it uh, actually double final. Or a final double. Uh, and I'm going to call it amount of ticks. And this is going to equal 60.0. This would essentially be a 60 frame per second game. Uh, so it's going to be updating. Every time it goes through here, it's going to update 60 times. Uh, yeah. We're also going to create a double. Um, we're going to call it NS. And it's going to equal 1 billion. So that's 9 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Divide that by the amount of ticks. And there we go. Uh, we're also going to create a double variable called delta. And this is going to be a variable uh, that calculates the time passed to uh, so it can catch itself up, essentially. So, so if your FPS is running a little bit behind, your ticks are running a little bit behind, it's going to catch itself up because this number will increase. And it's going to uh, plus equal that number. You'll see in a second here. Uh, so we call it in here because this only gets ran once. In our while running loop here, this is the game loop. Okay, so I'm gonna create a, a new variable called now. It's going to equal system dot nano time. So we do this because last time gets called here, and actually once it, it takes time to get from here to here. Uh, so I mean it's a very very small amount, but it does take time to get from here to here. Um, so we can get the difference of our last time and our now uh, by you know uh, subtracting it together. 
So I could say delta plus equals uh, now, uh, last time minus now divided by ns, right? Um, and then we can say last time equals now because we want that last time variable to equal the now variable, um, which would be setting our last time to what it is, what the current time is right now. Uh, so now we can say if delta is greater than or equal to one, we're gonna call tick method, and uh, we're gonna do delta minus minus. So this goes back to not being greater than or equal to one. We actually haven't created this tick method. We can create it now. Private void tick, and I'm also gonna create private void render. And this this method here. I mean, obviously, we could put all this in here, but it m makes it more organized. So this is going to be everything in the game that updates, and this is going to be everything in the game that renders. Okay, um, so yeah, now that we do that, we can just say render, and uh, there we go. If we went ahead and played it now, it's okay. Uh, we wouldn't actually notice anything different. So we're going to go ahead and display our our ticks per second and our FPS at the bottom here just so we know uh, so yeah we can go ahead and create two new variables uh, int updates equals zero int frames equals zero and we want to create a timer and this is going to equal system dot current time milliseconds milli stands for milliseconds here and in our in our uh, delta greater than or equal to one we can say update plus plus updates and we can say frames plus plus here now to actually calculate uh, our FPS we want to do it every second so we don't want to spam the console here so we can say if system dot current time millis minus timer is greater than 1000 timer plus equals 1000 system dot out dot print line uh, we can say updates And then ticks and then plus frames that would do a FPS plus frames here okay and now once it runs through this here um, we're gonna set updates to equal zero and we're gonna set frames to equal zero so now if we went ahead and played it oh, we're getting zero ticks and a lot of FPS uh, I think this is now minus last time Sorry about that. Yep, here we go. So we're getting 60 ticks, and our FPS is around um, 8 million. Yeah, 8 million. So I was actually wrong. Um, yeah, so about 8 million. Uh, let me know what yours is. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, so yeah, I can go ahead and explain this a little bit more. If we didn't set updates and frames to equal zero, we would actually see um, that, uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, so if we went ahead and played it, we would actually see that it goes 60, 120, 180, 240, and then look at our FPS just gain. So it's actually not resetting after we do this, so we just gotta reset it. Um, and we do timer plus equals 1000 because we don't want it to loop through again. Uh, and yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> um, all right, so go and leave a like, go and subscribe. Next um, tutorial here or uh, game development series, we will actually be getting into the game. But this is a solid game loop. So I would suggest use this in every single one of your games uh, because this, this does do good. Um, I don't know if I explained it before, but if you had a game loop and your uh, the person's computer was very slow, obviously the FPS would drop and your game uh, would not run very fast. Uh, same here, but obviously that's in any game. But if your hardware was very fast, your game would be super fast because there'd be a higher FPS and your guy would be moving everywhere like jolting. Um, so now this just maxes it out. So no matter how good your computer is, it's only going to update at 60 ticks per second, uh, or per per time it runs through this here. Yeah, 60 per second. Yeah. Um, so go and leave a like, go and subscribe. 
Uh, next video, we will again be getting into uh, rendering and uh, stuff like that. So go and leave a like and subscribe. I will see you, sexy legends, next time. Peace.